Working with Metadata Manager Scanning and Managing Metadata Agenda Scanning and managing metadata includes scanning metadata from data sources, adding tables manually, deleting tables, scheduling metadata scans, updating table properties, updating column properties, validating data, assigning code sets to columns, viewing workflow logs of tables, viewing workflow logs of columns, associating tables, and associating columns. Getting started with Erwin Metadata Manager. Click on the main menu icon to access the Erwin DI Suite modules. Go to Data Catalog. Select Metadata Manager. You can harvest or scan metadata from data sources in the Metadata Manager. Scanning metadata from data sources. Create new environment. Right-click the system node under the particular system. Scanning metadata from SQL Server DB. Creating environment, SQL Server. New environment page. Enter appropriate values in the mandatory fields. SQL Server as a data source. Add connection parameters. Test connection. Connection with the database established successfully. Save and exit. New environment is created and stored in the environment tree. Scan metadata. Once the environment is created and the connection details in place, we can scan source or target metadata. Right-click the environment node and the metadata scan step one wizard appears. Select or unselect appropriate database schema to scan, tables, views, synonyms. Select the metadata scanning options to perform. Press the arrow to move to the next step or the X to cancel. Metadata Scan Step 2 Wizard Select or unselect specific tables and or views if necessary. Press the Save button to perform the scan or the X to cancel, or the arrow button to the left to go back. Metadata is scanned successfully and saved under the Environment node. Adding Tables Manually Right-click on Environment node, Add Table. Add new table page appears. Select appropriate values in the fields. Schema name and table name are mandatory. Click Save and the table is added to the environment. Deleting tables. Right click on an environment and click Delete Tables. The delete page appears. Select tables and click Delete. Scheduling metadata scans. Right-click on an environment and click Schedule Metadata Scan. Job Scheduler page appears. Enter appropriate values in the fields. Click Schedule to schedule metadata scan. Metadata scan is scheduled and the scheduled job appears in the Scheduled Jobs tab. Metadata is scanned at the scheduled time and the environment is updated. Updating Table Properties. Click a table. Click Table Properties tab and the Table Properties page appears. Click Edit and enter the appropriate values in the fields. Enter appropriate values in the fields where fields marked with a red asterisk are mandatory. Click Save and the Table Properties are updated. Updating Column Properties. Click a column, click the Column Properties tab, and the Column Properties page appears. Click Edit and enter the appropriate values in the fields. Note the fields marked with a red asterisk are mandatory. Click Save and the Column Properties are updated. Validating Data Validate the data in the environment at the table and column levels. The data is validated against the forms, table properties, or column properties associated with the environment. Right-click on Environment and hover over Validate Data to validate tables or columns in the environment. The data is validated. The columns or tables which fail mandatory field criteria are marked with red, 
the columns or tables which fail regular expression criteria are marked with orange export the validations the validation report is downloaded in excel format assigning code sets to columns click a column click valid values tab Click Assign or Remove Code Sets. Select the code set and click Save. Code sets are saved under the Valid Values tab. Download the Valid Value Grid in Excel format. Viewing the Workflow Log of Tables. Click Table. Click Workflow Log tab. Current Workflow Log status of the selected table is shown expand or hide users and roles to view users and roles assigned to all the stages export image download the workflow log image viewing workflow log of columns click a column click the workflow log tab and the current workflow log status of the selected column is shown expand or hide the users and roles to view users and roles assigned to all the stages. Export image, download the workflow log image. Associating tables. Click the required table. Click Associations tab. Click Asset Type from the drop-down. Click the plus symbol to proceed to the Relationship Association page. Relationship Association page appears. Select Relationship Name. Select Asset Type. Click Save and the asset is added to the table. Edit or Delete Associations can be found here. And here we see the asset has been added to the table. Associating Columns. Click the required column. Click the Associations tab. Click Asset Type from the drop-down. Click the plus symbol to proceed to the Relationship Association page. The Relationship Associations page appears. Select Relationship Name. Select Asset Type. Click Save and the asset is added to the column. The Edit and Delete Associations are found here and here we see the asset added to the column. That's it. For more information, please visit Irwin.com.